Hello. Uh, I And we're going to make some soap. If you have not been here for a soap stream before, welcome. So welcome to my garage. We moved in in May. It's still a mess, but my soap area is clean and ready to go. This is kind of an ambitious soap because we're looking at four different colors. Yeah, four. And also lots of glitters and stuff, but I'm excited. The fragrance we're using is called Secret Garden. It's from Brambleberry. And the colors we're using, I've been doing some color mixing. Goal is to try and get as close to that sort of like lush green garden ivy color. And this is gonna be our main color for our soap. And honestly, oh, you can't see me. I don't know if you can see, but that is probably the color that I want it to be. We are making a fairy garden, garden fairy. I think garden fairy soap. Because I think it's sort of inspired by like Hadley looking for secret garden or secret fairy homes in the garden. So I actually really like this for our base color. I want just like a little bit of this yellow and I'm not going to use a ton of it, but where I put it, I want it to be really vibrant. I'm thinking about like the pollen that makes all that beautiful smell. That's a nice little like bright yellow. Really what I'm thinking about are petunias because they're Hadley's favorite, but it's a mixture of blue oxide pigment and then the ultramarine violet pigment to just try and get that little bit of deep sort of like indigo purple blue that petunias are, but I wanted it to like lean towards blue. And so that's been kind of fun, experimenting with the different uh, colorants to see like what they do together and, and how they change in soap. And so let's go ahead and we're gonna get out our oils. All right, so we're just gonna like really make sure that this is all mixed up, our lye and our goat milk. This is the part that is noisy. I think we are pretty well mixed. I'm not seeing any more of those little chunks or anything like that. So that is good. Pouring our colorant with our, I need my tiny spatula for this. Our colorant with our fragrance oil into all of the containers that I've been holding off on. So we're just gonna put a little bit into our yellow. So I don't want too much. I don't want too much yellow. I just want enough that we get the sense of pollen without wondering why we're not sneezing. That's, that's kind of the goal. Oh, and we're very liquidy still, which is what we want. I do have a plan if we start going fast, as often happens for, with me. And then for the blue and the, the pink, I want it to be relatively even. Okay, and then I want the most to be this. So I'm not even going to stir those yet. And we're going to put our green into our main. But just watch, I'll say, oh, it's still so like runny and liquidy. That's not too bad. That's actually kind of nice for doing kind of a complex and maybe a little bit overly ambitious soap, but you never really know. Okay, we're just gonna mix lightest to darkest and we're just gonna do like a little hand mix. I don't want it to get, we are still very runny. But there's our like, oh, it ended up being kind of a nice like buttercup yellow. And then the pink is technically, even though they both look very bright, the pink is technically our lighter compared to the blue. And our blue, just really wanting that to get nice and mixed up in there. I'm really loving this color. I think it's like just what I was hoping it would be. Okay. And I think that we are running enough that I am going to attempt a drop swirl. 
I don't think I've ever done it successfully, so we're gonna find out. I think I'm just gonna put it all in and I'm gonna save what I got left to put on the top, but that actually all came out very nicely. And then let's do some of the blue. Oh, yep, that's going right in. Wow. I'm kind of in shock. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this is actually working. And a little bit of the yellow. And then I'm gonna try and do this a little bit. Trying to do like fancy things. But I don't want it to get like too mixed. Starting to sit a little bit more on top. But not too bad. Oh my gosh. Did I actually successfully do a drop floral? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait till we cut it to find out. All right, I'm just gonna clean up some of this. And then we are going to scrape our containers. Scrape, 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 scrape. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that it's working. <coughs> I can't believe it. You know you're a hobby soap maker when you are in shock that things are um, actually working <laughs> the way that you had planned. Green on top here. Oh, and we even end up with a little bit of a swirl there too. Well, that's great. So you can see what we've done so far. I do have hollow oh, uh, eco glitter. So this is uh, biodegradable, so it's safe to go down your drain. Um, and it is definitely real hollow. And this is from Brambleberry. I get a lot of stuff from Brambleberry. They're a local Washington State company. I wonder if I just do like, just like a little? So I don't, I really don't wanna cover up the swirl, but I just like the glitter so much. I think I think we're safe. I think we're set enough that it's not going to sink in too much. We're definitely very liquidy still. It has a little bit of like a trippy vibe to it with the swirls and I'm kind of liking it. Sort of like 70s garden fairy vibes. But it'll be interesting to see. I think what's orange right now will go yellow. And so that will be really nice. Look at her. She is swirly and shiny and glittery and sparkly. She is beauty. Here is the soap that we made on Tuesday. The hollow glitter on top. And so the inspiration was like a fairy in the garden. Sometimes my soap is beautiful. Sometimes it looks like bean dips. Listen to this product description for the secret garden scent from Brambleberry. This scent will transport you to a quiet and mystical garden. It's a blend of wild blackberries, lemon, mandarin, mimosa, jasmine, and orange blossom. Notes of cedar, amber, and musk come through nicely without being too strong. Try secret garden fragrance oil in your next project. I'm obsessed. I keep smelling it. Hadley particularly is super obsessed with fairies. I mean, she's four, but like it's also become this thing now where like if she does something that she's maybe not supposed to, it wasn't her. It was the fairies. The fairies apparently follow us and they hang out in our garden. And so that was like a big part of my inspiration for this soap was thinking about the kind of garden fairies that we that we apparently have. Oh, interesting. So I'm just gonna show you like, here's the bar out of the mold. So you can see like the, the top is very colorful. 
The sides have uh, a lot more of like that dark, deep green. And I'm gonna stand it up like this. And I'm gonna move this just a little bit up. There we go. And let's see if my drop swirl, swirl worked. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I'm glad I waited because it's still pretty soft. But yeah, you can see like we're starting to get this like really pretty like multi colors inside because I wanted it to like beautiful garden with all the greenery, but then with like the pops of color. And I think I might have been actually a little bit successful, which is pretty impressive to me. So I've only been making soap for about a year. So anytime I do something that like, oh my gosh, look at this, that like kind of works, I love this. I wanted it to feel like the green of like petals. And I think that we kind of achieved that. Oh my gosh, I'm just loving this. And I love, I did a, like a, the smallest amount of yellows. And so it might look a little bit orange on the screen, but it will actually lighten up as it cures for the four to six weeks. And then once it's fully done curing, I go and I like shave the edges and like pretty it up a little bit more. swirls go all the way down to the bottom which I am really grateful for it does kind of look like flowers that was you know sometimes when you craft it just works and then like you can see the top has like this nice like super colorful with and then with the glitter because if you're doing a fairy soap and you don't have glitter like what are you doing with your life also this little heart like how did that that looks like an actual little heart right there what what? How? Amazing. Oh, and it's on two bars too because it went through. I love it. That makes me so happy. Like, so happy. I am really very excited about this super cute secret garden soap. So the next step for this is it will sit on the rack and cure for four to six weeks and I'll shave off the edges, pretty it up a little bit, and we'll be able to send it to homes for other people to have in their home. But I kind of want to just have it all for myself because like look at this beautiful, incredible soap. I kind of cannot I, I'm really, you know, I'm just proud. I'm just proud. Look at these little hearts that came through. Look at that. You can't ask for anything more like precious than that. That was not on purpose, but especially I feel like for a fair, like a garden fairy inspired soap, like having a nice little surprise like that is, I don't know. It feels very magical to me. And I'm just like, I'm here for it. I just love it. And it also smells really good, which is like a nice bonus. I have a lot of soap things to be excited about lately. I'll see you next time, and I hope that you get all the smiles. I hope that there is something that you smell today that makes you smile super big, whether it be a soap or something else. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.